Parents want their children to be safe from coronavirus. A metro school is using a campus health tracker to keep an eye on cases. You can see how many active cases there have been. We break down how the system worked in cases where the football team and cheer squad were exposed. We told you another school shut down today because of the coronavirus, a new reminder of the risk. We all want to feel confident sending kids to school. There is the worry they could get sick or pass it on to older family members. Well, new at 5, Channel 2's Michael Seiden first told us about a contract tracing tool at a school in Forsyth that they're using. Well, Michael, you check to see how it's working. What's the verdict? You know, Dave, we've spoken with parents in the school. They all say it is great. Pinecrest Academy, they've had some positive cases, but they have not had to shut down and go back to remote learning. In fact, the football team at Pinecrest, they were playing another team. The player on the other team actually tested positive for COVID-19, but none of the players actually had to go into quarantine. They're also using an app that's screening students and helping keep the virus out of the classroom. Did you guys do temperatures yet? No. no. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Each weekday morning before leaving for school, Karen and Rich Cress make sure their two children, Shannon and Ryan, check their temperatures. 98. Karen enters the readings into an app and answers a few health questions. And you go through a series of, oh, I guess it's about eight questions. Um, and then it gives you the green light to go to school. It's one of many safety measures Pinecrest Academy is taking, like putting up these clear isolation barriers to separate students. They're actually designed and made by Rich's company, Georgia Stage. Pinecrest is following CDC and Georgia Department of Health guidelines, but has seen a handful of COVID-19 cases as of September 23rd. We have managed five cases within our student base, and our protocols have helped us to narrow down the number of students or who had to go into quarantine. Pinecrest administrators and the school nurse use a campus health tracker developed by Alpharetta-based data analytics company, IPC Global, to help identify students who need to quarantine and do contact tracing. What we're trying to do here is put out little fires. Here's how it works. When we look down into our campuses, we can see those students, teachers, and even families that have positive tests. Administrators can look at a dashboard with that real-time information to help monitor the virus. I look at that screen every day, and it, um, it's the best thing about that tracker because it tells me by school, whose uh, number of cases, number in quarantine, number recovered, you know, number in yellow who we're kind of keeping an eye on or maybe they're out waiting for a test. There's also a version for parents. We can see how many cases um, in the middle school, how many cases in the lower school, how many cases in the high school, what's going on at any moment, which is really nice. You can see how many active cases there have been. They've done contact tracing, and so then they know who that active case came in contact with. The school's protocols were put to test when the day after a football game, Pinecrest learned a player on the opposing team tested positive for COVID-19. Our coach literally took film. We found out the number, the, the guy's number on the other team, and we with a stopwatch, he literally tracked how many contacts and for how long. The school took that list to the Department of Public Health. And the most contact anyone had with that guy was 45 seconds. Wow. So because we could prove it and we had film, nobody had to go in quarantine. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Pinecrest leaders learned about a case affecting the cheer squad right as they were about to leave for a game. They had to stop the bus, get the kids off the bus, explain quarantine before we ever told mom and dad. That's not how we'd want uh, this to play out. The Crest family decided to hold off on fall sports for their kids, but the way Pinecrest handled the cheer squad incident changed their minds about letting them play winter sports. We basically saw from that how quickly they can react and move with that, so that made us feel comfortable about putting our kids in winter sports. And Michael, you showed us how Pinecrest is using an app to screen kids to try to make sure that they only come to school when they're healthy. How, how good is everyone about actually using it? Dave, believe it or not, the compliance rate, it's pretty high. Uh, school hmm. officials tell us most days it's in the 90s. They say actually the younger kids are great about wearing uh, masks because they're required indoors. Now, of course, we know how teenagers are. They say they don't always comply, but of course, if they show up to school, any student shows up to school without a mask, uh, the district, or excuse me, the school does provide one for them. Mm. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Michael Seiden reporting. Thanks, Michael.